What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, I'm doing a shaggy bang hair tutorial um, for what I do with my bangs. The fact that they're shaggier and longer now because they are growing out and also how I style the rest of my hair. So if you're curious to see how I do my hair every single day, then keep watching. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video if you want to see more of me. <laughs> but yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, so these are the things that I use. You don't need to use these exact items, but this is just how I do my hair. I always use oil in my hair, so I wait till it's around like, I would say this is like 70% dry, and I just let it air dry, natural. This is my Gizu, it's almost done. I have another one waiting, because it's honestly like, this is the best thing. I actually bought this with my own money when it first came out because I was very curious to try it. I got it for a friend for her birthday and it's actually amazing. It smells good, it just makes my hair feel more healthy at the ends. When my hair is dry, I apply it to help with like frizziness and stuff, but I basically just work it through my ends. I know this is not part of my bang tutorial, but this is what I do when I get out of the shower and I figured you guys might be curious. Um, I don't apply any to my bangs though because I just don't want my bangs to be greasy. And then I use any excess on my hands. By the way, sorry about my hand tan. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know my recent struggle with that. But thanks to you guys, I know what to do next time. Okay, next step is I take a wet brush. You could take a wide tooth comb. I just like the wet brush because it brushes my hair super quick. It doesn't hurt. I honestly don't understand how this thing works. It's like magic. It like instantly takes out the knots. I don't understand how it works. So that probably took me like, what, a minute? <laughs> You don't understand how long it used to take me to brush my hair because of how tangled it would get. I'll just show you everything you need. Basically, a round brush and a blow dryer. Doesn't matter what round brush. I got this at the pharmacy and this is my Dyson. Do not need a Dyson, but I do find that this dries my hair in like so fast. It's insane. So I do recommend Dyson, but I know it is pricey. And I mean, a regular blow dryer does the trick. It just takes a little bit longer, but... I mean, it's up to you whether or not it is worth your money for that. So I blow dry my whole head now because I used to never blow dry my hair ever. But ever since I got bangs, I blow dry it all the time to give myself volume, to have it look really like up and beautiful and voluminous. My bangs are quite long now, as you will see. I just brush them out. They are very long now. I'm actually going to get them cut or trimmed. I'm not getting them cut. I'm just getting them trimmed next week. But I want to show you guys how I style my long shaggy bangs. So I just brush them out from like wherever they are all the way forward. And then if I have kind of a longer piece, I just like throw that back. It's not a, the biggest deal. If they, sometimes they'll get in the way, but I like to mainly focus on the ones in front of my face. So basically all you're gonna need to do is take your round brush, you go underneath the bangs and you push, like you make sure that they're going kind of high up. So when you start blow drying, you're gonna blow dry from behind and as you work your way, you're gonna kind of twist the brush and then keep it high up so that you get volume. So that's the first time I go through. They're almost completely dry already, but I like to go over one more time. I mean, they're like basically completely dry, but I like to kind of give them a little bit more volume. Now, obviously I don't want my bangs to look like this. So what I do is I blow dry this way, this way up like this. And it looks crazy. Imagine I just left my hair like this. So I'm going to gently bring them down. And as you can see, there's so much volume up here and you can kind of shape them how you want. So if you want more of like the, <laughs> it looks so bad without the rest of my hair blow dried, but you get the point that I'm trying to make here. When they were shorter, I was able to kind of just 
go like this and have them stay but since they're a little bit longer and heavier they tend to go in front of my face but that's okay I don't mind that but yeah I'm gonna do the rest of my hair now so that it actually looks better but what I do when I blow dry my hair is I blow dry this section of my hair this way then I blow dry this section of my hair that way and then I blow dry this like back crown in front to give it the most volume and then I flip my hair upside down I do underneath and then I kind of do all over you will see I don't even use a brush for this I literally just I'm lazy and go crazy with a blow dryer and it blow dries my hair so fast I just got interrupted by my shmanu <laughs> Okay, when it's almost completely dry, then I like to go in with my wet brush again and gently brush it to make sure their own little tangles and also to see how much um, I have left to blow dry. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just let the rest air dry, but since I want to show you guys um, how I actually curl my hair, then I want this to be completely dry. Yeah, see it's like 95% dry, so I'm just going to go over again one more time. Now that my hair looks like a poofy triangle because I actually have curlier, wavier hair and I don't straighten my hair as I'm curling it, you're gonna see I have definitely some more volume in my hair. But the next thing that I do is I curl my hair and I like this one because the curling wand is really big and I find that out of all the curling wands I've owned, this is the one that has kept my curls the longest and it's just the T3 curling wand. I don't know which one this is. If I find it online, I'll link it down below. This is the one with the clamp, but I actually don't use the clamp because I don't really know how, so I use it as a curling wand and I just keep the clamp open. <laughs> I'm sure they have like a curling wand of the same size, I just don't have that one, so I make do with what I have. And then I just use my clip to separate my hair. But I feel like I have a million tutorials of curling my hair on YouTube, so I will link some oldies but goodies down below. Also like the fact that I can curl like big chunks of my hair, so I just take this huge section right here and I will curl that. And what I will do is, I'll wait for this to heat up actually, it doesn't take that long, but I basically... I curl all the way around and I keep the clamp open and I just make sure that it's getting hot. I'll hold this for a few seconds and then when I let it go, I get a curl and I do that all over very messily. I don't try to keep it like perfect curls. So that's the curl I'll get, whatever. <laughs> Move on to the next one. I do my whole head and then when that's done, I will brush it out and then add a bit of spray, which I'll show you. It's like the most simple, easy way to do my hair and it literally takes me 10 minutes. And then these curls last days, so I feel like I don't need to redo my hair. I try to wash my hair like once a week. Sometimes I'll wash it twice, but I'm typically able to wait that long because dry shampoo becomes my best friend. Don't be fooled, by the end my hair is actually disgusting and so greasy, but I do it because I know it's good for my hair. So I'll be back when my hair's done. Well, wait, I'll show you one more strand. And I always do the same direction, so I'll go away from my face. Make sure the hair is flat on the curling wand. Yeah, that's good. Perfect, I'll be back. Okay, so now that my hair is done, it's gonna look a little crazy. Obviously, I don't keep it like this. What I do is I flip my hair upside down and I zhuzh it, as people like to say. That word is so weird to me, but hold on, I'll show you. You just zhuzh it out. And if you see any pieces, like right here, I see this one, like the curl kind of came out. Then I will quickly just re-curl it really quick like that. But I don't want the curls to be too like perfect. So I run my fingers through it. And then the next step that I do is add texture spray because um, when I first get out and do my hair, my hair is very like smooth and I want it to have more um, of a texture. 
I try to avoid my bangs though. And if you want more volume, you can always go in with some dry shampoo, but I kind of like the way it looks. And the last thing I do is use this, which is from Way. Oh, this is also from um, Way. This is just a texturizing hairspray. And then this is the hair oil. It smells like flowers. It smells incredible. So I use literally just one pump of that in my hand. And then I work it into my ends. Kind of just scrunch it up a little bit. And I add just a tiny, tiny bit to the ends of my bangs, keep them in this position. And that is the way that I do my hair. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And um, also let me know if you wanna see an update because I am getting my hair redone. I'm actually gonna make my bangs a little bit more short, a little bit more short. A little shorter because I want more of the Brigitte Bardot hair. So that is my inspiration. And the hair just looks better, I find, every single day that I wake up. I just add more texture spray, more hair oil, sometimes dry shampoo. If my bangs do get a little greasy on like the third day, because sometimes your bangs get greasy before the rest of your hair, I will just literally go in the sink and put shampoo in just my bangs, rinse them out, and re-blow dry them, and it's good as new. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Me in ninth grade. Hashtag MySpace. In this abandoned amusement park, we come to life when it turns dark. We're just carnival hearts, you and me.